Hey everyone, Tim from vMix here, and today we're going to be talking about cameras. A common question that we get here at vMix is, will my camera work with vMix? And usually our answer is going to be something like, well, maybe, because there are a few things to consider. Now we have a lot of different camera types that we use here in our studio for our live streams and for testing. We have all kinds of things from like camcorders to DSLR mirrorless cameras. We have prosumer and cinema cameras. We have uh, webcams, we have GoPros, we have uh, PTZ cameras like this here. Now, a lot of these cameras are specifically built for live video. So this PTZ camera here, as you can see, it's got an SDI port and it's built for outputting a constant live video feed. However, camcorders and DSLRs aren't necessarily built for live video. So the biggest thing to consider when looking for a camera for live video is, does the camera output a live, clean, and constant video feed? So let's just break that down a little bit. By live, we mean, is the video coming out of the camera in real time? Can you get a video signal and not just record it to the camera? Clean, are you able to remove all of the display information in the output. Now you don't want it to have all of this stuff around the corners and that sort of thing. You want a clean feed out of the camera. And finally, constant. You don't want the camera to switch off after 30 minutes of live output. Some DSLRs and cameras only work for 30 minutes on the live output or something like that. So you'll just need to make sure that it can output indefinitely. Now, if you are able to get a live, clean and constant video feed out of the camera, then you're able to connect it up to a capture device for use on your computer. A capture device is a piece of equipment that allows you to convert your camera's video output into something that your computer can use for programs like vMix. So a capture device might be an internal capture device like this one here that plugs directly into your motherboard. So you plug in your camera via HDMI here and then that goes into your computer. Or it may be an external capture device like this one here which supports USB 3. So typically camcorders and DSLRs that output video will output over a HDMI port. So you connect up a cable to that and then plug that into your capture device. Now this external one is USB 3, so it connects via USB 3 into your computer. So we have a huge list of internal and external capture devices on our website if you are looking to find a capture device for your camera and your production. Now we always recommend that people start out with equipment that they already have or items that they could potentially borrow. Many people have camcorders and webcams lying around that they don't use anymore because they use their phone. You can also go and find cameras refurbished on places like eBay if you're looking to save some money. You can get really good quality HD video out of a lot of these cameras, but you just need to make sure that they do support a live, clean and constant output. So if you want to use a USB based camera, say like a webcam or a video conferencing camera, then you just need to plug that into your computer. So they have plug and play drivers that allow you to select them in vMix. So you just go to add input and then select them as a camera. Now vMix also supports IP cameras. So you can add those by going to add input, then going to stream and selecting the VLC option. Now your camera manufacturer should provide you with the correct URL for accessing the camera's video stream. But keep in mind that with IP cameras, they're going to typically be lower quality and have a lot more latency than a capture device or a USB based camera. So that's just a quick look at cameras in vMix. Now, if you have any questions about your camera, check out the documentation or check the manufacturer as we didn't build it. So we're not sure whether it's going to be outputting the right live video for you. Now, if you have any questions about vMix, feel free to drop us an email via the contact page on vMix.com. Now I'm sure this video will still get questions of people saying, will vMix work with my camera? So please don't be offended if we only reply with a shrug emoji or I'm not sure, uh, check out your camera manufacturer. So thanks for watching and we will stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vMix.com for a free 60 day trial. See you later.